Got a disclaimer I gotta make before I start this video. I am no PlayStation technician. I am no expert at fixing PlayStation 3s or PlayStation 4s. This is just something that um me and a friend of mine happened to do and it worked great for us. So I'm going to spread the word, share it, and I hope it works for you guys. Anyway, gamers and game mess, what is going on? Tenek127 here, and yes, you have read this video correctly. A fix for the stuck at 99% um, update install for the PlayStation 3. Now, I'm going to tell you guys the steps that I did to, to, um, to do this. I'm going to tell you guys the story, how this even came about, how I went about to even need to cure this issue. Um, so I was going to a local game shop to, um, to trade in my old... Uh, my old PlayStation 3. I had actually given it to the, um to uh, to my niece for uh what was it? I don't know if it was Christmas or birthday or what, but I gave it to my niece and son, and I recently upgraded them with a PlayStation 4. So um they came to me and approached me, and they were like, "Well, Uncle, we don't need the PlayStation 3 anymore, blah blah blah. So take it and do something with it. We don't want it in our room." So I said, all right, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And this PlayStation had had, had, had this problem for a while, which is why I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to uh, do any, I had got them the PS4 in the first place or, or do anything with it. So, um, I take it, to, um, to trade it in just, you know, to see if they'll give me anything for a, a damaged PlayStation three. So apparently behind the counter, I have one stubborn bastard with me who is determined that this console is not truly dead from this issue so i'm like all right well what do you suppose we do um we actually ended up fixing the 99 percent um glitch within a half hour and i'm just going to tell you guys how we did it the first thing is you're going to notice that um you can't turn the console off which is um which is false if you actually hold down the power button for 30 seconds you can um you can res you can reset the console that's the first thing. Um, the next step that you guys are going to want to keep in mind is uh, that this is going to take multiple tries. It doesn't happen on the first try. I think him and I did it almost 20 times before it it went through. Um, but what you ultimately want to do is um, put the console into safe mode. Because I was actually talking to a PlayStation representative. And um, he said all they do, really, that um, they charge you that $79.99 for, is they force the console into safe mode. Now, I don't know if this is their trick. I don't know if this is how they do things. You know, they, they have a lot more technical support than, you know, I have available. So I'm sure, you know, it's a lot easier for them to get get the system into safe mode. But um, that's, in so many words, what you want to do. You want to force the console into safe mode and you want to um, you want to install the update via um usb f flash drive the issue the reason this happens is because a slight dip in um in lag or whatever when an update is downloading somewhere somehow that update is corrupted and it gets difficult to install on your playstation 3 usually the playstation is not the problem and that's what I, that's what i was i was told by um by sony themselves it's usually the update because um, what they're always going to try and do before they have you send in the service is trying to get the console into safe mode. So what me and him did was, um, you guys know the safe mode procedure. You hold down the power button until the console turns back off. Then you hold it down again until you hear the three beeps. We just did this over and over and over again. And when it restarted... It had just went through. The 99 went to 100%. The console restarted and ran like nothing had happened. So, um, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. I really hope it helps and I hope it works. Um, for those who don't know, uh, and this is with the Slims, you want to look up the, um, the ways to, uh, to put your console into safe mode, but the ultimate cure is just to force the system into safe mode and install the update via USB flash drive that way you know it's not a corrupted update it's straight from your PC and 
and um and stuff like that i think i even have a few friends that prefer to do their updates that way just so they don't run into this problem but um anyway guys i just want to offer you guys a solution it's not a guaranteed fix but it worked for me and this is as recent as september 18th i did this on september 17th today is september 18th and it worked great for me so i really hope this this helps some of you guys out it's your boy tenek 127 don't forget to like share and subscribe please